What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of The Korean in Me where I take you on a tour of some of my favorite spots to eat here in Korea. Let's go! Today we're here at Yang Hing Hwande, which is a lamb barbecue restaurant here in the Yangjae area. I came here a few weeks back and I was blown away by their quality of service and food. And I'm also a fan of their general ambiance. I especially love these outdoor, uh, these huge sliding doors that open up and you can have kind of an outdoor barbecue eating experience. Get over my shoulder. Drawstring, you open it up and you roll it out like a scroll. Today, what we're getting is the, the French rack right over here, which is supposed to be delicious. Actually, I've eaten it before, so I know that it's delicious. And we also got this uh, Jebi Churi, which is a marinated lamb meat, kind of like a bulgogi or, or like a kalbi type of uh, marinade. We also got the Jungoi, which is a soup version that has the meat inside it as well, too. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, the, everything looks amazing. Maybe I can see what was broken. Ooh, but it's a lonely call. Yeah, it's a lonely All right, so this is the French rack. Look at that meat, looks delicious, nice and thick. And on this side, you have the marinated lamb meat. This is uh, it's like 25% alcohol over here. Take a look. Uh, it's, so it's much stronger than just regular soju. So we're gonna try to mix it. Actually, we might take a shot and then we'll probably also mix it with some tonic water. Cheers. We don't know what to do. We don't Wow, look at the service, like she cooks the meat for you, she cooks it perfectly, it's delicious. You get a little bit of zucchini on the side as well. Did you use a chopstick? The alcohol itself is a little bit flavored. It has this kind of floral type of flavoring, kind of like Chinese alcohol. Highly recommend it if you come here. Let's try this out. It is a lot of alcohol though. So make sure you come with, here with uh, friends. So this is the, uh, the lamb skewer um, spice mix. This is a uh, herb cheese. And this is a uh, basa. Pyogobasa is a uh, type of mushroom. Um, it's a mushroom uh, salt, actually. So it's actually pretty unique. I remember having this last time. It was it was really good with the meat. Oh, no mushroom. When they fish, finish uh, cooking the rack of lamb, they'll uh, take the bone and they'll do this with it and they'll give you a little like holder because it's hot so you can hold on to it and you can bite it off and chew at it. So uh, after the barbecue is, after the meat is cooked, they place it on top of some minari. Uh, I'm sure you probably heard of the movie Minari recently. It's like a Korean American movie. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you just wrap it with a little bit of soy sauce and it's delicious. Look at that. Mm. How can you not like that? I mean, I guess if you don't like lamb, I guess you won't like it. Typically, you know, lamb is considered to be a very gamey meat. But this place, like, you don't really feel that gaminess uh, at all, actually. I think they might 
uh, marinate it or maybe even uh, age it a little bit. And uh, yeah, it, you can't, even with the French rack, like you couldn't really sense that it was too gamey. Like they took a lot of that gaminess out of it. So for those of you who don't like gamey lamb, this place is actually a great option. And especially this uh, marinated lamb, because there's, there's no gamey taste, like none at all. It's very, very, very mild, if anything. So yeah, this is definitely a good thing to try. If you're not a fan of lamb, let's try this. <clears throat> Stop it. It's so good. <clears throat> it's so good. Especially with the minari. That minari, like, it's got that very herbal kind of flavor and scent with the lamb, it's just perfect combination. All right, so last up is the soup. Uh, so we're gonna be changing from the grill over to uh, just a regular burner. So let's check this out. All right, so they got this huge lamb shank right in the stew, uh, which looks... <laughs> oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. Uh, I'm pretty stuffed already, but this is gonna be phenomenal. All right, so that lamb shank in there, uh, yeah, we're gonna devour that. But also the soup that it's in is actually soup that that's derived from the lamb meat and the bones so that's gonna be really good as well too and as you can see lots of vegetables lots of vegetables because you're trying to be healthy but really i just want that meat yeah that right there that's what i want so here's the ramen noodles that are going to go into this soup uh, they come out parboiled to get rid of the oil uh, any, any any other uh, impurities so that when it goes into the soup, it's pure noodle, just pure ramen. I mean, obviously you got, you got to have the kimchi. Did you see So I missed that ramen drop, but she was kind enough to put it back on the plate and put it back in. Look at that, look at that. That is beautiful. So this is the final dish of the day. And uh, this is the soup. And there was a huge lamb shank in there. And they cooked it, the soup, everything in it. And then they chopped it all up. Put some ramen in there. Oh God, take a look at that some meat. Take a look at that. It's super tender. Oh, juicy. And then you have the ramen. And this is why I cannot lose weight. This shit is so good. <laughs> oh, Ryan, that soup is... Wow! That soup is so good. It's so deep and rich and mm. <sighs> All right guys, so I am stuffed out of my mind. Uh, that was uh, an amazing meal, but I think I probably had about five people's worth of food. Um, that soup at the end, that does not come in a one person order, so I had to order two orders of that uh, along with the ramen. So there's a lot of food I had today, but well worth it. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's, again, worth the money because the service is amazing. You, they cook the meat for you perfectly. They, they, they give you everything you need. And the side dishes, just the attention to detail here is um, like far beyond most of the places that I've been to that serve lamb meat here in Korea. So yeah, definitely, if you wanna come check it out, 
I'll leave a link at the bottom down in the description. Uh, click on that and you should be able to find your way here. Anyways, I'll see you next time on another episode of The Korean and Me. Peace. Oh, and uh, I totally forgot. I still have about 75% of this bottle left, so I'm gonna try to polish this off before I go. Uh, I do fear, however, that after a bottle of this, I will be pretty hammered. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right?